Hub Culture and MasterCard this week are exploring the idea of what inclusive growth in the digital age means. Tell me a little bit about how technology and innovation can help empower people. I think what we need to know is most of the response when it comes to a humanitarian, being a disaster or even a war, is in fact led by the community themselves. They're there. They know how to do that. So if they have technology which allow them to uh, be in contact directly, to connect, to communicate, to understand, but also to compare, it will reinforce their, their ability to deal with all the people, including with the humanitarian, you know? I think it's interesting to see communities which sometimes are demanding, and they're right to be demanding with us, and ask also for the right services. That, that's one. The other element is very classical technology which helps you to, for example, pay mm -hmm. uh, much more, so transfer of money, not only from humanitarian to people, but for remittance, you know, for communities to other communities, uh, and that's really empower people, that's, that's clear. Give me an example of where you've done that. Oh, um, Somalia is a good example. Uh, Somalia is one of the most difficult places to work for humanitarian. What we've done, we've done, of course, a needs assessment, very specific. But based on that, we've then managed cash transfer program, uh, very low, very low technology on mobile phone, very useful. And then today you would go Mogadishu, you would find, or in Kismayo, you would find women, uh, including elderly women, you know, going to the market and being able to pay and managing that very well. And that's great. And that's exactly what we need to be able to do. They know, they choose, that's their responsibility. Eve, thank you very much. You're welcome.